Hi, this is Akantha, and I'm going to bring you a little bit of rambling about how 2023 we're going to see a lot of great otome animes come out finally, and a little history of the otomes that have come out before 2023. Before 2023, so we have Hamefura, which came out before 2022, where the main character is reincarnated as the villainess in a video game that she's played in her last life, and she's just trying to survive and stay alive, and voila, she suddenly has a harem. But 2022 was definitely a year where it started to pick up. So we have a couple of Otome anime that really came out in the fall, starting with I'm the villainess, so I'm taming the final boss, which is the quintessential Otome romance kind of thing and they did a good job getting that feeling in there and even adding a whole nother arc that wasn't in the manga itself. The other Tomei anime that came out in fall was the Bibliophile Princess. So this was more of a slow romance, but it definitely has that Otome feel that you really get from the time period and from the clothes that they wear. But going on to 2023, we really have a long list of Otome animes that are coming out this year alone, which is really exciting. So the first one is really long. So basically, Tsundere Akiyaku Reijo is Lotte to Jikyo no Endo-kun to Kaisetsu no Kobayashi-san. Basically, it's two students and they're playing a game and it's just wholesome all around. The next one is Tensei Ojo to Tensei Reijo no Maho Kakume. And it's an Atome about the reincarnated princess on the left who has no magical powers, saving the villainess on the right from her condemnation event. Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. So I'm not really sure what this one's about. I saw this one on the Annie list for winter, and it has the definite feel of it. I'm an Atome, but I'm not too sure if it's going to be an Atome anime, but it definitely has that aesthetic. So this one I'm super excited for. It's a based on a webtoon called The Reason Why Rayliana Ended Up at the Duke's Mansion. Basically, it's based, someone goes into a book that they've read before, blah, 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 romance. You get the idea. This one in summer, the most heretical last boss queen from Villainous to Savior. I am super excited to see this get an anime because there is a fantastic manga that was unfortunately discontinued because of the artist. Um, so I'm super happy to see this story continue in anime form. I'm just, well, it's super exciting. And there are some ones that are questionable that might be coming out 2023, but not too sure. They don't have any official status yet. Um, so there's the Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts. Not sure when that's coming out, but this is definitely an Atome romance even though you kind of look at the picture and like, huh, what's going on here? Trust me on this one. And last one is the Tear Moon Empire stories coming out sometime this year. And it is a villainess being reincarnated, going back into her past and trying to right her wrongs. It is a hilarious manga and I hope it stays that way. So that's my list of all the Otome animes we know coming out in 2023. Thank you for watching and I hope we can see more in the future.